we are here doing another blind review for my man here, but also, sorry, for my boy? My friend? Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Six, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, and the whiskey that makes it sound better. I'm Josh. I'm Sean. And together we are Wild Stallions! Just kidding. Yes. So, uh, we're doing another whiskey review. This will be the probably the last whiskey review here at the Tasting Room in Sunrise Heights. Sunrise Pines. Did I say Heights? Yep. Fuck. Okay. Sunrise Pines. Ah! You made it like 40 seconds in before you dropped an F-bomb. I made it like four minutes in the last... I second. also make the disclaimer at the front that says this video contains content not suitable for minors. I call shenanigans! Your yeah, favorite. yeah, don't work in the mines. Yeah. And another thing. Don't be a child. And one to grow on. But anyway, we are here doing another blind review for my man here, but also... Sorry, for my... Boy? My friend? Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this one's for you, future Josh. I'm just moving around from camera to camera, making it more uncomfortable for you than it is for me. It's not that hard of it's not that Look, thing, man. I don't know what's in the bag. He's pulling it out of the bag. That's all that's happening. Ah, oh, it is too loud. So don't even do the surprise thing. Just pull it out of the bag. I'm not doing the hands. You made it weird, man. <laughs> you made it weird. So while I was at Total Wine getting the last bottle we reviewed, if you haven't seen that. Click up here. Why did I change my shirt if you're gonna fuck up the continuity? Don't worry about it. So, uh, the 14 year old Glenlivet, Glenlivet cognac, cognac cask, cognac finish, which we loved. I spied this off to my side, said, Hey, that's a good price, and I'd never heard of it. And keeping with the Scotch theme, we have dun -dun -dun -dun, Duncan Taylor Scotch Whiskey Limited. Blended Scotch whiskey, aged 12 years. And I, what struck me was a 12-year blended Scotch. I don't know if I am remembering this right, but I thought Duncan Taylor was one of the U.S. companies that was receiving Scotch, then bottling it. Source and origin. Okay. It's not that so... It, yeah, I mean, uh, $24.99 at, at Total Wine. I was like, like, this looks good. And it's 40%, 750 milliliter um, from Scotland. So, we're going to get into it. Hope you like it, uh, or hope you like our review. More importantly, have you ever tried it? Have you done anything by Duncan Taylor? Why are these not? This this is your solution to opening whiskey bottles. That's right, friends from the Midwest. Corn I am holders. standing up for you. What happens if the cork gets stuck in the top of the bottle? The spacing is small enough that it fits. You can then twist and pull the cork out. Or if you have one of these finicky little... Well, basically a wine bottle. Sons of bitches. Nice. I... Done. Number one... Right? I'm so glad you I didn't know you had corn cob holders. So the color right off the bat dark is dark, yeah. For an, it's finished in oak barrels. Just for those that don't know and for my own edification, what does it mean when it says aged 12 years? It's not aged in oak barrels, right? It says matured in oak barrels. No, it says it's matured in oak casks. Oak casks, I mean, sorry. I don't know. I don't know anything about Duncan Taylor. What's the difference between a cask and a barrel? Learn me, Obi-Wan. Hold on. Please. <laughs> he I'm has sorry, it. Josh. This is going to have some fucking editing for you. 
Oh no, Sorry. boy, this is dead. Done. Done. Uh, Done. Hey, uh, we're all gonna die. We're dead. I don't know. Any, I don't know anything about Doug and Taylor. So the only thing we can get into, because I didn't. Sometimes you want to be surprised. Sometimes I get notice, and I can do some right. some front loading of, of right, good research. Shooter tour. I did not do any of that. So let's just go in for the uh, the notes. Let's figure push. out what it tastes like, what it smells like. Well, it's, apparently the uh, distillery is in Huntley, Scotland. AB fifty four and HP. What does that mean? I have no idea what a H H HP means. Yeah, Maybe. must be it must be a zip code or something. Postal code, postal code like that. So then, that is a fucking thick base, though. Look at that. That is just solid glass. Well, you know, it's all about that base. About that base. About that, that is base. just that's an that's a lot. That's it a is a lot of mass. Oh, you know why? Because it adds a premium weight to the bottle. For twenty four ninety nine, I'm not expecting a whole bunch, but but we have had success. We've had some luck with blended scotches in the past. Uh, one of one of my favorites, anyway, is Kirkland. Kirkland forty percent uh, blended scotch whiskey is amazing. You can get it at Costco. That's a Tuesday night whiskey all all, all week long. I don't know what I was going for there. I was most surprised by the uh, Glen Murray line of things. Everything from Glen Murray that I've had has mm. been great. Definitely oily. It, it generally shows up better right here. Excuse me, Kitty. Sorry, things are a little bit disheveled and in disarray. This... Is it, is it just me or does it move really freely compared to some other ones? It's, it's oily, looking at the legs, but... It just seems to be, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. 40%? Yes, 40%. Okay, 12 uh, years some 12 years scotch. By the way, thank you for watching. If this is your first Room 6 video, welcome. Please subscribe down the corner there and ring the bell so you get notified of other videos. We do more than just this, I also uh, do reviews of mostly local Las Vegas music. Uh, I'm starting to branch out just because of COVID. Uh, even did one over in Germany. But really, I'm all about supporting the local scene wherever you are uh, and trying to uh, do what we can to help educate really brand new musicians. And also just tell you, you know, any other music news that pops along. I have a new series. There's eight parts, I believe about halfway through right now, uh, eight parts, that is the history of music in Las Vegas. It's not comprehensive, but I try to make it entertaining. And I'm also looking at doing a series of uh, Today in Music, like a recurring thing of this day in music, this happened. Uh, just trying to keep content coming to you folks without being, you know, boring and repetitive. You got notes already, huh? Yeah. All right, I guess we're not going to toast or clink or anything? I was just going in off the nose. I haven't tasted anything. All right, you mind if I make a toast? If you got one ready. I got one. May your plane land wheel side down. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. Better. May your luggage get there before you do. Guess what? He missed it. <laughs> that means we're landing short, folks. And the luggage is going to take a tumble past the plane wreckage. May your luggage arrive when you do. May your luggage arrive you were... at your location. Stop talking! <laughs> That's what your toast has got dwindled down to? May the most... Hopefully this happens. No, seriously. To a friend I wasn't expecting. But I'm glad I found to memories I never knew I would create. Oh, that's a good note. You're beautiful. And you'll note two different style of glasses. I'm drinking just out like of a copita. Just like us. I really do. I like the longer stem of the copita. I, I don't like the man handling of the glass. I don't need to warm it up. It's 40 fucking percent. See, for me, I actually, I, I like having this little stubby here to hold on to. It is not nearly as strong as I thought it was going to be up front. 
on the nose. Yeah. I get a little earthiness, or, or yeah, a little earthiness. Do they have a blurb on this thing? Nope. Nothing at all. Which, like, what do you think? First impressions on the taste, because I haven't tasted it yet. It's very Highlandy. It's very space idea. It's very light and floral. How could it be full? It would be because Highlands are space sides, and not all space sides are Highland. The space side region is in the Highlands of yeah, Scotland. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Oh, it's nice. I really, I've, so I've spent, this is a wonderful. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go on a diatribe here. Go I'm, for it. All right. Let me just say first, right off the bat. Go ahead. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's what I got. <clears throat> this actually takes me back through a lot of the stuff that you and I have been through. So this may be a lengthy, a lengthy one. This even may be. Another teaser for some Two Brains, One Bottle stuff we get into later. By the way, if you don't know what Two Brains, One Bottle is, it's the audio-only, patron-only podcast that we do where we share a bottle, we've generally reviewed, talk about whatever we want for an hour, answer some questions from people, talk about all sorts of stuff, and it's unfiltered and unedited, and it's on Patreon. Link is in the description. And uh, we have a good time for an hour, we hope you'll join too. Uh, Little as a dollar a month, you can become a Patreon member, a Patreon patron. There's other tiers as well for a little bit more, and each tier has additional perks that hopefully you'll find interesting. Yay! Play. I would, but I forgot what I was going to say. The whole teaser. Thing, the whole thing. This is this no teaser. Oh, no, sorry. No, that's what I'm saying. I forgot the whole thing I was going to say. I forgot the whole diatribe I was going to go on. I'm just, I'm throwing it out there. I did not write it down fast enough. I'm sorry, what you witnessed was the birth of creation. <laughs> Let me finish, please. This time, you witnessed the birth of creation. You saw that, that creation get malnourished. And then you saw it die. And friend. you know what you saw now? The birth of evil! <laughs> the birth of the bane of my existence! Sean's about to move out for those. I'm about to lose my fucking mind is what I'm about to do with this goddamn sound. Sean. All day, every day, when I'm trying to sleep, we're trying to wake up. So what happened was, Sean decided to move out. His refrigerator said, I'm going to make your life miserable. <laughs> Earphone users, you're warned. Shut up. Got it. Oh, it was the tea? It was the tea. Tea's fine. Did you spill the tea, son? Tea's fine. Spill the tea's soot. Fine. Come on, spill the tea. Tea's fine. Tipped in the lip By the way, if you don't have a gallon mason jar, what are you doing with your life? This Me? is where I keep all my loose hey. tea. Hey, we got one with a spigot. Yeah, I don't even want a spigot because I. Oh, actually? Wait, did you hurt yourself? I hurt the fridge more than I hurt me. Mm hmm. You should see the other guy. You should see the fridge. There are dents in it. Okay, back to Sorry, whiskey. Guys. Back to whiskey. Um, I, I, look. Teaser look. for the podcast. I was, I was actually going to go in a different direction. Oh, I didn't sorry. remember what I was talking about. I was just trying to help. Just trying to move on. Um, yummy. My ears are my life. They're what I make my living on. They're how I spend all of my important time to me. I need, you know, we need, we need a sponsor like Ray. Someone who takes actual ear listening yep. and, and taking the information through the ears seriously. I want to talk to them about doing a quad driver, like personal in-ear monitor kind of thing. Quad driver? Yeah. So you've got like different sized drivers that accentuate different frequencies and different speaker sizes. If you, okay. pack in, if you pack in more of them, you can get kind of more of a natural response because you're filling in all the frequencies. It's just like filling in your your uh, car stereo but um yeah my hearing is really important to me so when i hear something that just drones on and on endlessly for hours at a time and it sucks away at my ability to sleep 
it really messes with me. We're not so, talking about politics here, man. I'm not talking about politics either. I'm talking about being the shit out of inanimate objects. Hey. Because you know what? They don't fight back. That's and those right. are the ones that you hit, the ones that don't fight back. You know where you take that energy out? The gym. You know the fruit you go, that bites you go hit a fruit that bites back? There's pineapple. So, what do you think of the whiskey, Sean? <laughs> yeah, I was going into mango and then sugar, and then I was going to go into a note about my childhood, and then I fucking lost it. I don't know where the hell it was going. I'm sorry, man. Truly. It's fine. Right. Sorry you lost your childhood. I'm, I, I also got the <clears throat> same notes he got, but... Um, oh. Okay, the mouthfeel. I was going to go mm -hmm. in the mouthfeel because nobody ever goes in the mouth. It's not quite so creamy. The mouthfeel is the same mouthfeel you get from like a, a syrup mix. Right. Like a maraschino cherry mix that you use in uh, uh, Shirley Temples. But with the, the, the burn of alcohol mixed in. But like... A flaming Dr. Pepper. Yeah. You ever had a flaming Dr. Pepper shot? Yeah. That's what this reminds me of is it's there's, very warm. And there's definitely an ethanol quality to yeah. it. It's it's very pungent. We also did just the first pour out of the bottle, so mm -hmm. I guess we're going to have to go back. And air it out? Now that it's been oxygenated. Ox oh, oh, look at that. I'm the only one with an empty glass. Uh, that's not who, necessarily a good thing. Who could have foreseen that coming? <laughs> I'm still really impressed by the color. I am too. You know what I'm impressed by is after <clears throat> quite a few little gauntlets that I've put this poor man through with gimmicky whiskeys or whiskeys that aren't really whiskeys or whiskeys that I was impressed by you know, bottling but not. It feels like an abusive relationship. You've given me shit for so long that I'm just starting to appreciate it. But apparently life. I'm four for four now. I'm easily impressed. Well, <laughs> No, I meant like I wake yes. up every day and I have to see this. <laughs> I gotta find some fucking reason. Every day I it. stand at the window naked and say, Good morning, world! Good news, I saved you the trouble. I've unwrapped this package for ya! Calcanade. Oh, I wish I had that energy. I really don't. That's not my style of living. <laughs> it's pleasant. I'm not finding a lot of notes in it, really. It's kind of... It's inoffensive. It's safe. What you say? I mean, it's not Grangestone one note. Like after ten minutes, it's it conservative. Comes. Yes, like I think this is a good. Hey, I want to get into Scotch. There's some nice. All right, there's some nice Highland figgy notes that are going yeah. on. I mean, I definitely I'm picking up a little bit of the space side that you're saying. Honeysuckle. Um, yeah, I mean, there's citrus in there. There's bacon spice. The, there's a lot of the usual notes that you associate with whiskey, but it seems like they, because it's a blend, they basically wanted to make it a basic scotch. Okay. I'm, I, the thing is, I don't like using... Go on. Go on, son. You said the price point for this was 25 Yeah. And is it 12 beer? Yeah. Four and a half dollars more, you can get the Glen Murray 12 year, and I think the Glen Murray 12 year is is far superior. Right, but this it's a note, but it's a note of honey. It's a light, it's a light note that it centers on already. So when you taste it, it feels a little watered down by comparison. Like I'm not surprised there's no blurb on the bottle. What are they gonna say about it, other than marketing terms, smooth. Uh, what was it? Premium or no? Uh, I'm not getting citrus. I'm getting. I thought I got citrus, orange. Uh, I'm getting like jam. What, what kind like of jam? Fig, fig, mango, jam, jam. Is that the earthiness that I was getting? Was mango fig? fig? The, the, I would say the earthiness um, comes from the mango. Or maybe I don't like mango, like the fruit, personally. So yeah, I love mango, but I know there's an inherent earthiness with it. Excuse me.
If I had to give it a rating out of 10, I think it's a solid 6. Like, it's, it's better than a lot of what we've had, but it's not by any means... I think it's priced right. Uh, if you're a beer drinker... Uh-oh. I actually have a good one for this. If you're a beer drinker... It tastes and feels like a... 5% IPA. It feels like just... Glad that didn't create. You, you hear about... Yeah, me too. <laughs> Sorry. Also myself. You hear about the the 7% IPAs and the 8s and the 9s and the double I's and the triple I's and things like that, but a 5% IPA that's, <laughs> that's clear when you pour it on a glass. There's no haze to it. It kind of drinks the same way. There's a wateriness to it. There's a thinness to it, but... There is a an adherence to the note that it's committing to. And in that note, there's honeysuckle, there's jam, there's sugar. But there's no smoke. There's no peat. There's no pepperiness. There's no offensiveness. There's, there's no, no character. No onion, no funk, no banana, no overripeness of fruit. Everything kind of just, yeah, it's there. Yeah, is that is that fair? I think it's fair, and I take I, I think I need to amend what I said earlier. It is kind of like Grangestone, where uh, after the initial okay, not bad. It's kind of like I'm waiting for things to develop. And oh there's man, nothing there. you know what the issue is? The what? the nose was more interesting than the taste. But even on the nose, we're, there we're, wasn't... As... We were both excited about the nose. Then we jumped in, and then yeah. it was like, oh. And here's the deal. It's okay if you make something that we don't like. Just make it interesting. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, no. It, sorry. Let me no. rephrase. I will never drink another Ambrose banana whiskey as long as I live. Fair enough. That was an interesting... But when you're trying a whiskey out for the first time... It was an interesting experience. Yes. I think what happened... I won't subject myself to that again. I think what happened is we got spoiled at, with the last three, which have, which have very surprised us pleasantly in many in different ways. And then we get this, which is kind of like, it's not surprising us in the, oh my God, that's terrible way. It's surprising us in as, okay, where's the other I shoe? Think, you know what I think? I think we're going to end up drinking this on the rocks for, yeah, this... for an episode of a podcast. Are we doing something with Patreon? I oh, don't yeah. remember from oh, the beginning so cute. of the episode. Yes, yes. Cheap plug, cheap plug. Cheap plug. They, I already made the cheap plug, but yes. I, so, Duncan Taylor, 12-year blended scotch whiskey. I'm going to call it a Tuesday night whiskey. Like, just a... Oh, I want some whiskey. I don't want the good stuff, but I want some whiskey on the rocks or whatever. And my go-to is you know, scotch and soda. This is a good whiskey to drink while you're gaming. When you, you're not... I, I don't want to pay attention to it too much. Right. Like, I want something I can just pick up and put I, down and just... I drink. want something that's going to... I know it's going to taste the same half hour from now. N nothing's going to develop. And I... I don't want a whiskey that makes me think too hard. No, this is something... So... Yeah, this is a good introductory whiskey, I think. Or scotch. But a blended scotch. It's... So not, not that I give a fuck about the word blended. I love Johnny Walker Black. It is one of my favorite whiskeys. It'll always be on one of my... It'll be on my top five list until I, I die. Mm. What's John, number one? Oh, man. You haven't found it yet. No, I've never found number one. But number two... Number two... Number two. There's always a spot for contention. I guess you're going to have to listen to Two Brains, One Bottle to <sighs> further expand into the top five whiskeys that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. That could be a whole other One, video. two, three, four, five. This is just for the Patreon people. Uh, yeah. We appreciate you coming to hang out with us. It has been a hoot, wonderful evening. Yes. And we appreciate any feedback you guys give us. It is always welcome. It is always appreciated. What is a Duncan Taylor we need to try? What is the what is, there is more than one? What is the Duncan Taylor expression that we need to have to be like, hey guys, no, this is what they do, and they do this 
really well. And yeah, maybe we got the baby bottle. The, maybe the baby steps, you know. Maybe, yeah. And maybe we got but, a second bottling or something like that. Like it always depends on what the situation is. But we're all, hopefully, in this community, we're all open to learning new things, trying new things at least once, and then you got to try them again sober. <laughs> yes. Thank you. We love you. Yes. Remember to be amazing. Stick true to yourselves. Never settle for anything less than your dreams. And Josh, I guess I'm going to play you out on this one. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Except nope. Oh, no. Oh, did you bring a fucking surprise? You nope. cunt. No. God damn it. What did you do? I don't want to look at you. I just got to tell him. No. What did you do? Please go over to Patreon. Oh. Oh, again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go over oh. to Patreon so you can hear this kind of stuff without having to look at our faces. Nice. <laughs> For about an hour. Um, also... Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click up here. And if you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click down there and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when new videos get posted. Next time you see him, the scenery will probably change. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Working on shit. But in the meantime, play me out! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, there was no impact. That was anticlimactic. That's what I did. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I did the jazz ending.